Hey friend, Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. You got your coffee today. Here's a Minnesota loon or a duck, one of the two. <laughs> I have a new friend online. We had a little technical difficulties, but we forged through it. And his name is Afif. You there? Yep. I Hello. Good morning. Good morning. It is morning for you. It's noon for us here in Minneapolis. Where are you? I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area. I know where that is. There's an ocean next to you. You guys are supposed to fall off the earth years ago. Never happened. Yeah, we survived. <laughs> we survived two big ones. So yeah. I just don't know. So you may have seen some of these. I don't do these too long because they might take people's valuable commodity of time. We do them short and sweet to get to know who you are, what you do, and where you do it and things. So who's a thief? You married? You got kids? Who's a thief? Yeah. So um, from the personal point of view, a thief is uh, married, has two kids, older kids. And I mean, you know, I'm, people say that I'm pretty cheater of my age, but I'm not as young as I look. So, but I have uh, kids going into college and, uh, and uh, we are all in the Bay Area for almost 30 plus years, love this environment, love this culture over here, and then we just like kind of like a fabric here. You do look pretty well preserved. You look like you're like 30 or 40 something. Oh. Am I not, okay, right? All right. So, I mean, we, we, we can do a little bit of debate on that <laughs> line, that one to 10 scale, how much we can do. <laughs> But I just I turned know. 60. I just turned 60 in June. So Yeah, yep, yep, yep. I'm okay. right behind you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So tell yeah. us, how long, you lived in San Francisco for how long? Uh, about a little over 32 years. Okay, deep roots. Yeah. I've been in Minneapolis pretty much all my life, other than a couple yeah. years in L.A. and a couple years yeah. in uh, Asheville, yeah. but deep roots, so we, yeah. we know how to find you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is it that you do? So uh, before I get into that, um, so just a little disclaimer, since I'm in our company work under the SEC requirements, so okay. I just wanted to just lay it out there that whatever I'm saying over here is basically cannot be considered as a recommendation or advice or anything. And um, whatever, if we discuss any numbers or anything, those are the past performances, not indicative of future results. So I just want to make sure that, I mean, we understand this is for just informational purpose. Good enough. All right. <laughs> All right, so what we do, um, so uh, we, we, we are a startup, I mean, but a little matured startup, and uh, we provide the crowdfunding real estate investment, um, and for people, I mean, who may not be familiar with this, uh, this has been enabled in last few years, and it's now pretty much taking off, um, and what it allows, basically, I mean, people to invest with little minimum amount of the investment into the large uh, real estate properties, which they may not be able to acquire. So in this way, I mean, they see the properties online and they, it's pre-vetted, it's a commercial grade, investment grade properties. We put it up there, I mean, under SEC strict guidelines with all the um, bells and whistles, all the information available, everything. And they see that and they invest as minimum as $5,000 to start. With. Oh, cool. So, to dip their toes and to see that how this real estate is going to pan out um, and they can diversify into that, I mean, into different properties or fund or other things. So, so it sort of puts thing. the investor a little in, in little more in control of what they're putting it into. Because like, say, for example, if you invested in Apple, you don't know what they're going to do. But with real estate, it's somewhat. Before. <laughs> yeah? And it was probably good, huh? Actually, I'm a former Apple employee in the good old days of Steve Jobs. Okay, but you don't know what's going to happen, really. I think I think real estate is. I'm, I'm invested in REITs through the Vanguard yeah. stuff, yeah. and it's yeah. I, I'm in that because I don't want to monitor it like a trader and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I think real estate's pretty secure. We always need a roof over our head, right? Yeah. So I think that's cool that you can uh, let somebody invest for a smaller amount like that rather than having to buy a building or buy a house or something like that. Exactly. And we are disrupting actually that model. So you will, I mean, the people I mean, who have invested into REITs will love it what we are doing it because in the REITs, as you know, that they are fee, there are these charges, that charges. And and end of the day, I mean, if you are making some money, I mean, so much money coming out of it because of this fee and charges and maintenance and blah, blah, blah. Right. So what we have disrupted that model is basically we take the fees out of it completely. So because of the online, because of the scalability of the marketing and all those kind of things, we can go to the public with a absolutely no fee fund. So we just actually recently launched, which is, I mean, we are very proud of bringing it. I mean, which I haven't seen anyone else is doing it the way we are doing it. And um, it's on our site. It's absolutely no fee. 
Very cool. I think what's happening is um, the, you know, they've always said the customer's always right. But now what's happening is the customer's sort of in control. It's happening with like the Uber app and stuff where a person can download the app and now you're in, in control of your own deal as a, as a consumer, as a general public person. I'm in the process of working on a deal in Costa Rica with uh, some property out there. So All right. the similar kind of thing, we don't want to have a bunch of fees attached to it. The idea is to invest in it and experience some things and be able to get a return on your investment over and above the, uh, you know, the rate of, uh, of inflation and yeah. stuff. So you can actually make yeah. a living. <laughs> yeah. So we yeah. want to do. No, I mean, actually, I mean, this model has been taken off. And um, as a matter of fact, I mean, I think there's uh, different numbers, but one of the numbers I saw on the Forbes is that like by, 2020, it could be a 300 billion plus market right there, right in, in that space. So. I think so. I think what's happening is uh, the banks have been, I mean, I'm glad you put the disclaimer in there for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. banks have just been feeding sure us. That, I mean, you know, what we are talking is just a discussion. <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's it's been true. I mean, I, I, was, I go to my bank and uh, I, I once tried to close a bank account and they wouldn't let me close it because they said they reserve yeah. the right to do business with people. And I thought, I want to close the account. Well, you can't do that. And I, that's weird that there's that control over it. So it's it's sort of coming back into the control and power of the people, so to speak. Exactly. Very and cool. this is why the technology is such a wonderful place now. I mean, because of the technology, we can mm -hmm. do all these kind of things. I mean, like, you don't have to go to a traditional bank to get this done. I mean, we having had so many issues with that. So, I mean, there are new technologies outside that enable you this all. I mean, you know, the money transfer and all those kind of things is being so now automated that you know, like people are saying, the bank's role is going to be changing very fast. Very yeah, they're, they're doing crowdfunding and things. You find somebody that's got a lot of money, they're okay, and they want to invest in something else. They can pool it together and loan someone the money to be able to have a house. Yeah, we very have cool. an 80% repeat investors, and most of the investors, I mean, comes in and they invest actually a pretty heavy amount, and they are all... Um, all kinds of investors. I mean, novice to savvy investor because savvy investor sees this also as a very good opportunity where they can earn passive income mm -hmm. or as an alternative investment and add this new portfolio um, uh, addition uh, into their diversification. And it works out for them too. And for novice investors, it's a low risk. I mean, you get in and you test the water. Rates of returns are pretty high. We target about nine to 18% rate of returns. You can't beat that. All right. And especially with no fee, I mean, that's what you see, what you get. Yeah, as long as you keep it above inflation, I think you've got your head above water, right? Exactly. And exactly. so are you just local in the state? Are you national? Are you international in other places like Costa Rica or Bali? Yeah. Or where, so we're not international yet, but we are national. So okay. um, invest, we, our, as, as a matter of fact, I mean, majority of our investors actually come from the Midwest and from the East Coast and those places, even though we are in California, most of the properties we are uh, offering is in California, but this is the beauty of it, right? I mean, you can't, I mean, imagine to invest into California market, which is a, you know, hyper expensive, Yes. I mean, from other places, but this way now you can have the piece of the pie for such a beautiful mansion in Monterey or hottest, I mean, you know, mixed use development in downtown San Diego or, Recently, I mean, we have launched, I mean, one of the, you know, big, I mean, property in Hollywood Hills, which is going to be constructed by one of the renowned uh, designer who sold actually the last property, as you probably may have seen it in the news for $70 million for that uh, gamer, I mean, where Jay-Z and Beyonce was bidding on it. Okay. So he's designing another property that's going to be a huge hit. So that's even so fun to invest. Hollywood Hills, you can get the piece of the action for $10,000. Yeah, there. that'd be fun just to invest in, just to be able to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so again you might have seen some of the other videos i and i tend to do these very short so people can just yeah. get to know who you are and what's going on and they can just jump yeah. on it if they like it so yeah. could you share how to get a hold of you you got some websites and things and i'll also yeah. put those on and then i propagate this up to youtube and then i put it on blogs and put it out into the universe so people can find it so. yeah i mean um so it's very simple it's a diversity fund and I'll spell it out, D-I-V-E-R-S-Y-F-U-N-D, diversityfund.com. So like um, diversity, but not, it's diversity. Yeah, exactly. Diversity so fund. Diversityfund.com. And 
Uh, if somebody wants to get hold of me, I mean, my all information is on the site also. I run the marketing and product development. Love to hear the feedback that what you see on the site, I mean, you know, what you want to see on the site and stuff like that type of things from your audience. Mm -hmm. uh, we are constantly improving. So you will see a lot of this stuff going on on there. We are definitely, a, I mean, you know, it's an up and coming and fast growing company right now. Well, that's the cool thing about the internet is it can change with the times and make things oh. work and acclimate. It's, it's not uh, it's very beautiful. good. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, well, I appreciate you taking the time. If you want to stick on, we'll chat a little bit further. But uh, I'm going to get this beamed up to YouTube, and then what I do is I put an intro and outro on it, and then I put the tags and all that and put it out to the audiences that I think think will uh, find this stuff interesting. In fact, I'm going to a uh, real estate investor um, speed networking event tonight, so I can talk about well, it. <laughs> yeah, and then we have a referral program and that we can all share also with you. Very cool. Okay, right. thank you, Afif. Appreciate you taking right. the time. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate your time. Synergy Cafe. <laughs> and diversity fund. And diversity, yes. Yeah, and diversity fund. Thank you.